Oh my goodness, what is going on? And that'll put Gravedigger on its back again. What is going on everybody, Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment and we are back finally at long last back in Monster Jam Steel Titans. I do apologize for the length of time it has taken to get from our previous episode to this one, but I think we got a pretty good show in store today. We're using some different trucks. We got some new trucks unlocked since the last time we played. So uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of the all-stars you expect to see from Monster Jam. So it's going to be a lot of fun here today. We're going to run through 10 trucks just like we did last time uh, here at Indianapolis, though, this time. So now last time we were out, I did ask you guys for some feedback down in the comments, and you actually gave a lot. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and one of the things I've decided to do here is we're just doing this in free mode. So... All these other trucks are parked here, but they will not be scored or anything like that with like we had showing up last time as I was just doing them in random freestyle events. Uh, and also, I'm going to implement a couple of rules, one of which is uh, a pretty important one. If the truck flips over and is basically what I call turtled, where all four wheels are off the ground and the truck is essentially completely flipped over, then the run is done. That is uh, the end of the run, whether it happens first hit or right at the end, it will equal the same thing. The run will be over. Uh, I'm not going to have any kind of like 30 second rule where we can flip somebody back over. If your luck is that bad, it's just that bad and that's how it's going to be. So the turtling will end the run. And also I'm limiting each run to three minutes. So three minutes a piece in game. They give you two minutes. I'm going to add one extra minute and I'm going to track it on my own using my phone, which I'm holding in my hand right now. And uh, I'll set a timer for that. And once we hit our first obstacle, do our first move, whatever, then we'll start the clock and it will go from there and I'll give you guys relative and uh, regular updates on the clock so with that we're gonna be starting our show here today with this monster mutt Dalmatian truck so uh, without any further ado what do you say we just go ahead and get right into it so we're lined up here a bunch of uh, a bunch of other trucks some of which you'll probably see throughout the rest of this video some others will just be parked here just for our viewing entertainment but uh, we're pretty much ready to go here for our first run of the show so let's go ahead let's pull out of the parking lot here and uh, we'll get ready. I'll get my phone positioned and in place so I can hit it while on the run. But we are going to hit our first obstacle right now. And the clock has started. And we got some nice air right off the start. There you go. We're going to go right into a combo. Of some air. Can I land that landing jump nice? Oh, just hit an end of it. But a couple of nice jumps right there. Let's get some power going back the other way. Get up to almost 60 miles an hour, which is flying when you're in a 10,000 pound vehicle. That's insane. Let's pull it back around this way, and we got to get this show started with some big moments, some big air continuing on. Oh, that's going to be up on two wheels. That's going to be in the dirt. Oh, and pulled it back on the wheels. Luckily, was able to control the throttle right there as we're flying up on the dirt mounds. Coming around to another jump here. Let's see if we can hit this one kind of on an angle. Oh, that's going to be an awkward landing. But we got it back. There, we got scored for that as well, and we got some nice air right here. We're going to clear that mound. Just barely catch the landing ramp. That's nice. All right, let's go for the big jump in the center. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Because we're going to land here. Oh, nice. Right on the flat landing. And we're going to turn this thing back around. All right, we're doing great on big air. Let's try and do something kind of technical right here. Oh, that's going to end up being like a sideways front flip. Oh, and he barely lands it. Nice right there. All right, and that puts us at a minute and 47 seconds exactly left in the run. We are turning this thing up now. Come on, we got to hit a little bit of everything around here. Another big jump right there. Oh, that's going to hit the brakes and land down hard on the nose right there. And another jump the opposite way. All right. Oh, bicycle, bicycle. This is going to be struggle. Can I power out of it? Oh, lucky to power out of that one right there. Do we risk it? Do we high roll it right now? We're doing it. The backflip attempt. Land it right on the back tires and kind of walked out of it. That was awesome. All right, all right. Oh, we're going to walk this one as well. Oh, man, dug that nose in. Somehow got it back. Somehow got that one back there. Okay. We're coming down to just over a minute, a minute and four seconds left. And just now we crack a minute right there, and we get some huge air to take us over to that. All right, we're having a nice kind of solid run right now. Got a nice save in there. A couple of them actually got some backflips going for these tires again. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to land that too into another jump. Okay, this is starting off well. This is going really well. And we're just going to go backwards up the main ramp, walk it across that. 
And uh, should I just do a wheelie in or uh, excuse me, a donut in front of all my competitors right here? Because you got to top this first run. It might not be easy to do. Yeah, let's hit a cyclone right in front of some of them as we get 30 seconds left. Let's see, what else can we do to wow the crowd? Let's hit that big middle jump one more time. What do you say? Can I power it out? Got a little wheelie out of there. Am I going to try one last backflip as we've got 14 seconds left? We've got enough for just probably one more move. Let's go for it. The backflip one last time. And it's going to be an easy one right there. And with that, time will expire right now. There you go. Three minutes. And that was a pretty whole run right there. Some nice saves, a nice power out at one point. Two backflips there. One right at the end and got some big air. So that one is going to do nicely. And of course, as always, you guys get to vote for the winners. Be sure to go down below. We'll have a straw poll link where you can vote in the description. And I'll put one in the comments as well. That is where you guys can decide who the winner is. But wait until we get through all the runs. We've got nine trucks still left to go. Let's go get the next one. All right, we've got our next truck lined up, ready to go here. It is the El Toro Loco Yellow. Which is pretty cool looking, if I'm honest. I like the purple wheels. That's a nice little addition right there. If you do, if if I don't mind saying myself right there, it's it's pretty nice looking. So, all right, fair enough. The classic red El Toro Loco will always be my favorite, but I don't have access to that one right now. So yellow's gonna have to do. And with that, we will go ahead and get this run started and underway. We will get it going. What do you say we start off with a cyclone? Let's go. Clock is underway, and we are going into our first move. Oh, I'm going up on two wheels already. Can he pull it back? What a pullback. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's hit the racing lane. We did not hit that in, uh, in oh man, in a nice wheelie right there. I was going to say, Monster Mud didn't even touch that lane right there. However, we got it right off the bat. So I'm going to pull El Toro Loco. We want to keep those horns on for as long as we possibly can here. Let's go sideways over these. Didn't do that in the other truck. Let's go for another one up here. We're going to get some nice air off of that one. And perfectly on the landing ramp on the other side. Got a nice little bounce there. And we're hitting some of the stuff that Monster Mutt didn't hit right off the bat. That should do well. That's going to be a bit awkward right there. A little bicycle as we crash sort of into that uh, giant middle ramp. But uh, we get it back here. Let's go for some big air. Oh, that's huge air. That is huge air. And we're going to get it back down here and combo it right back up. Oh, this landing's going to be interesting. And it is. Oh, get it turned around. I don't want to crash into the wall or hit that uh, backflip ramp quite yet. That would not be so good. But there you go. That's one minute down off the clock. We've got two to go right there and we are just catching all of the lips on the ends of these jumps let's see if we can come back around here looks like this jump hasn't been used yet let's see if we can use that one up and get some nice air clear that entire mound of dirt i don't really know what you're supposed to call these things these these different uh, layouts of dirt and different angled ramps but there you go oh i kicked it up oh no and that'll do it we'll get reset by the game but that is going to be El Toro Loco. Almost had a pretty slick little front flip right there, but did not get it. And we clocked out at just about halfway to uh, unofficially about a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, excuse me, 26 seconds left on the clock. Minute and 26 seconds left on the clock. So that's a tough break right there for El Toro Loco Yellow, but you'll have that sometimes. And with the new rules, that is the way it's going to be. So with that, we'll take El Toro Loco back to the parking lot and we'll get the next truck up ready to go. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this truck seems pretty cool to me. These Soldier Fortune trucks are awesome, and the Black Ops one, the Blacked Out, sit and look at that, sit next to its teammate over there too, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like these trucks a lot, I like the way they look, I like their kind of futuristic army style. That's, that's, that's very awesome. So, all right, let's go ahead and run with this one. Let's see what we can do with Soldier Fortune Black Ops. That's a pretty cool one, I, I really like this one. And, are we lining it up right off the bat? Well, we aren't really lining up for anything here. We kind of missed that one, didn't we? We aren't starting to clock just yet until we hit the first jump. And we're going to go ahead and back it right in here and try to get as much run up to that middle jump. What do you say? Let's go for it. Power down. I've got my finger over the clock. As soon as we hit the ramp, the time is going. And we are all the way up in the air and got a nice little slap. Got a little baby slap wheelie out of the bottom of that one, but... We are on the clock here, and I am going to try and avoid those tires right there because that is bit El Toro Loco just before us. And uh, now we're going to keep moving here. So let's just go over these mounds here, land on top of that one, flat land back down. All right. Let's see if we can get some air or something going. We got to bring some big tricks out here to uh, upstage Monster Mode, who came out right off the bat and uh, had a pretty good run going. So let's see. We can do a perfect landing right there. 
Let's see what I can do here. Let's do something weird. Let's hit some kind of cross threading. There you go. Oh, that's gonna be another weird bounce. Oh, but we bring it down. We get look at the control right there. And uh, a little bit of luck. Let's see if we can do this one sideways. Are we going over this one sideways? We are. Oh, we're gonna stand it right up in the air and get it back down. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. And we get it back. All right. There you go. Should we send it right into a cyclone? Why not? We can do it. There's a lot of tire tracks over here making this ground really uneven. Oh, we're gyroing. We're gyroing. Can I power out back the other way? We do. All right, there you go. Now let's hit this racing lane. Nobody's hit it yet. Let's hit it. We got a nice little wheelie going up it as well. And then we're going to hit combo up with this jump. Oh, boy. We got a minute and 42 seconds left. Should I go for the backflip ramp? I'm doing it. I'm doing it, and we're going to get it. We are going to get it almost under-rotated right there, but we did get it. Oh, bicycle, bicycle. No! Oh, man. And that is going to do it unofficially. A minute and 25 seconds left in the run. And Soldier Fortin, Black Ops, fresh off of a pretty sweet backflip. Goes face first in the dirt. You hate to see it, but uh, we see it a lot here in Monster Jam. So that'll do it. For that run, Soldier Fortune, the second one to get bit by the track today. We'll go to the back and get the next truck. Well, how about this? We're going from one awesome looking truck to another. We have got Zombie, uh, which has, I guess, kind of been around for a while already now. It's been around for quite a few years at this point. Uh, this was one of the trucks that started coming in just as I was sort of heading out. Uh, but now that we're back in, man, this truck is pretty cool. I love the face, man. That... That's quite the there's quite the array of teeth that we got going on here on the front of Zombie, but we'll uh, we'll get him a dentist appointment at some point in the future. First, we need to hit this track, so let's go ahead and get Zombie ready to go here. I've got my finger on the clock for the first jump, and we are underway here. And I am all the way up in the air and put it right back down on the tailgate. That could not have felt too good for our poor driver in there, but uh, <laughs> we might be looking like a zombie after this is over. But let's see, can we pull it over here? What what can this do for me? Well, that didn't really do anything, but oh, okay, a bit of an awkward landing, but we landed it nonetheless. All right, Let's get a nice little jump over here, clear that side of things, nice. And uh, right back here in front of our competitors, we'll sling some dirt and go for that center jump there. I love the arms flailing around too. That's just, that's pretty sweet. Oh, I'm walking into a wheelie. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, well, let's pull it back down here. Let's get it going because that that was a pretty slow speed wheelie, but a wheelie nonetheless. And wheelies are cool. I don't care who you are. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting right here. This is going to be very interesting. Oh my goodness. There's no way I get it back. Come on, we got to power it out. We got to power it out. Don't you reset me, game. Yes. Oh, what a move and a stoppy to boot. There you go. And then right into another wheelie over that jump. All right, zombies doing some cool stuff right there. We lost an arm. We lost an arm. We hate to see F in the chat for the arm. You really do hate to see it, but that happens sometimes backwards up the main lamp main ramp rather and uh, we're coming usually to like sort of the kill zone in the in the clock here we've got a minute and 40 seconds left let's see what we can do with it let's just hit some big combo jumps right now some massive air and land in that one quite nicely do i go for the backflip it's dangerous it's way worth it though and we nail it we've been nailing those backflips so far today and let's see if we can cross thread up here oh cross this one that's a whoa two-wheeled landing Get it back! Get it back! Oh! Hold on, we still got a chance here. Oh my goodness, that was lucky. That was incredibly lucky. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump across this one right here. Get a nice landing there. And let's just start freaking out now as we've got just about a minute left to go. And we got a minute exactly right now. But let's start <laughs> just letting it all hang out here. We gotta do something to get the crowd on their feet. And that's, that's gonna do something, all right. Oh my goodness, am I getting this one back? Am I getting it back? We have shed so much of the body. Come on, go back the other way then. Look at it. Gyro saving it every day. Power out, though. That's part of the game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. We are just we're breakdancing at this point. I'm on my lid, and that's going to do it. With 27 seconds left, that will be the run there as we got a little too overconfident with the spinneroonies that we were doing and that'll do it for zombie who took quite the beating look the arms are gone his face is still there at least um he's got a little bit of his brain left and uh part of the part of the truck bed is still there i guess you would say but other than that 
it's all lost on on zombie so that'll do it for zombie we'll be on to the next truck well we've got no shortage of awesome trucks here today we've got the uh the mohawk warrior uh which is just an awesome one now of course i'm a little bit dated monster jam fan compared to a lot of people i remember when this truck was escalade uh and then was transformed into mohawk warrior at least I, that's how my memory tells me that went down i'm pretty sure it did uh, but yeah, I always I always love the old Escalade truck and uh, Mohawk Warrior is basically the sort of uh, Long lost relative of that one. I guess you could say or direct relative I mean, I guess we'll see how that one goes, but we'll go ahead and start with this one right now Let's get off and underway with Mohawk Warrior and we're gonna go straight for the racing lane and the clock is started So we got three minutes on the board there as we hit a little wheelie down the racing lane And those are kind of just the perfect size to do it now should we line it up right here this has been a couple of them today. We're going straight for it, and we nailed the front flip into a wheelie and into a little bit of a bicycle right there. But how about that for an opening move to hit a front flip? And that was what took El Toro Loco out of the, the game. So that's a big move right there to start things off. Hit some huge air right here. We're going to land all the way in the racing lane right at the very end of that. Let's see if we can get up and over these jumps there. Clear the tires onto two wheels. And we got to get this thing turned around here. Let's see what we can do now. Mohawk Warrior did do the double backflip. The, the well, I guess double is not really the right word. But the consecutive backflips at the World Finals that one year. And uh, let's see if we, maybe, maybe we could give that a try at some point here. But first, we got to survive the run. Because uh, we've had some good ones though, thus far. We've had a couple of uh, guys get struck down early. But Monster Mutt dalmatian really came out hot a zombie put on a pretty good show there although come up a little bit short on the clock so it's going to be a tight one still there's still plenty of room i would say uh but i'm not a judge you guys are don't forget about that straw poll at the end of the show and we're gonna sling some mud and some dirt around here right in front of the other competitors and we're just going for that big air right now just going for the wow moments and that's a wow moment right there that's huge air Oh, it's really satisfying to get that massive air and then to clear a jump like that right there start turning in midair And we've got about halfway to go just a little bit under and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna hit the first backflip of the oh wait. We didn't get a backflip at all. Oh, what am I supposed to do about this? I'll just back it down. I'll just back it down. Why not? Oh That was lucky right there. That could have gone very bad. I don't know why we didn't get any kind of rotation at all from that backflip ramp, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. All right, well, that's a bit awkward, but you know what? We pulled out of that one, so hopefully the, the, the crowd will take a little bit of note that that took some skill and some luck, hopefully put together, maybe. It was a pretty sick move, though. They'll appreciate that. Maybe the other side will give me some more luck. Let's try it. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing over here. Maybe I shouldn't go full throttle. And down we go. And that is going to leave us with 37 seconds left on the clock so almost well pretty much yeah exactly 10 seconds uh less time on the clock than we had uh with zombie but another flip over here today and for some reason the truck hasn't reset yet i'm kind of surprised by that but the wheels are still spinning and uh great clips mohawk warrior goes out on its back and we'll get another truck out here to replace it well we have got an extremely awesome truck lined up next year it's already got some mud on it all the trucks have i don't, I don't know why that uh, the mud carries over from the previous truck but it just does uh but man is this not one of the coolest monster trucks of all time am i the only one who thinks that this truck it's literally a giant shark on a friggin monster truck it doesn't get any cooler than that and i refuse to believe that any truck will ever be cooler than this one literally a friggin megalodon uh on wheels so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be seeing this one in my nightmares at some point, but until then We've got a freestyle to do so let's go ahead We're gonna pull up a little bit different start than usual, but I will have my hand on the clock ready to go and we are off We get up in the air and get some nice nice little rebound right there into a bicycle Oh, come on pull back down on four wheels, please that almost carried me right into the backflip ramp That would have been a little bit awkward, but down the racing lane we go backwards I don't know if anybody's done that yet we're gonna slide it right in front of another truck sitting right there and oh boy I have a feeling we might see that one a little bit later as we get some massive air and it's got to be massive right if you're called Megalodon you just you got to do it right you got to have some big moments here and what is this all about we're going for it there we go full throttle is not the way to do that it turns out as I let it sit on the back wheels there for a second that was pretty sweet 
And let's see what we can do about that. We got the backflip out of the way nice and early. So let's see what we can do about this. Oh, that was that was looking good. That was looking like something interesting was going to happen. But it pulled back down. And we climbed up over that one kind of slowly. Oh, we got a front flip going there. That's what happens when you hold the brake. All right, we got a nice air mid-air, uh, excuse me, front flip going. And so we got a back flip, back flip and a front flip as I am just losing all ability to speak right now because that move was so awesome. And we're going to stand it right back up on those rear wheels again. Just going nuts out here with a minute and 47 seconds left. Let's see what we can do. We got to start doing some stuff that the judges haven't seen. We've seen a couple of tame runs. We've seen some runs with a little bit of wow factor to them, but... We need to just get some craziness out here. We got to get Megalodon up in the top of the board. And we are hitting some crazy stuff. How are we going to get that one back? A lucky break right there. What can we do with this? Oh, we get a bounce right there off the jump. Are we going to go for the other side of this backflip ramp? We are. We are. We are. And right back down. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. Take your pictures, folks. Take your pictures because we're going up and over. Oh, we might be going a little bit too up and over. Oh, my goodness. Power out of it. Power out of it. Oh, well, at least we get a chance. Come on. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That, that is going to score well with the judges right there. It has to. It has to. Something unique. Something they haven't seen yet. As we are flying all over the place here. With 50 seconds left to go exactly on the clock. Let's get some more air here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no. No! And over and and that'll do it for Megalodon at just about 38 seconds to go. Oh, having a struggle to get to the end of these runs lately, man. This is this is tough for, for the field right now, but Megalodon had a pretty good run going, but 38 seconds on the clock, almost the same as the previous truck. So that's a little ironic or interesting. But that will do it for Megalodon. And we're getting to the top half of our bracket here. The top half of our show. It's going to start getting interesting. We've got quite the truck coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. The icon is ready to go. It is time for Gravedigger to come on out and show us what it's all about here in Monster Jam Still Titans for the first time. Because he was not featured in our last episode. So this is the debut of Gravedigger in our show. So let's go ahead and give them a good one. And we've just got we've got to get up here in the top of these points too. We've got I think there's quite a lot of bit to of room to work with still. So let's go ahead and find our first jump. What are we gonna do first? We're gonna come down here. Clock has not started yet. Because it does not start until you do your first move or trick. And I think we got our next one lined up. So with my finger on the button we're going to go for it. Let's go. The clock has started, and we are up in the air. We bring it back down. All right, here we go. Up over a combo move straight to the other side. All right, let's see what we can do here. So we line it up for the racing lane here and give it our all down the lane, and that's going to lead us to a nice wheelie. Nice. That's what I like to see out of those. I love me a good wheelie. Let's see what these tires are all about right in early in the run. This is taking guys out. It might take out Gravedigger. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. That's how I feel. The little frowny face. Oh, man. We didn't even make it 30 seconds. Aye, aye, aye. That is a problem. That cannot be allowed. Gravedigger, the icon, gets bit by the tires. And, uh, man, that is a tough, tough break right there. But the rules are the rules. That will be it for Gravedigger's scored competition. Now, if I know, obviously Dennis Anderson has retired by now, but there was one thing Dennis was always about, and that was about giving a show to the fans, right? So what do you say we give him a little encore run here? We'll give him the rest of the time he had. Let's give him a little encore run. This is not to be scored. This is just for you guys to see some Gravedigger action. I cannot believe it went over that early in the run. Those tires, man, they've bit, what, a couple of trucks now today. And it's a tough time out there, tough time. But let's give them a little encore here right now with the Icon, because that's what's right. That is what's right, as we're going nose first over that jump to clear it. All right, let's see what we can do for these fans right now. we got to get something crazy going. we got to get something really crazy going, and that's really... That is end over end, flipping and pulling it back. 
Oh, if we only could have done that while the judges were on duty, that would have been nice. But just for the fans, we're tearing up this Gravedigger truck. Let's see what we can do over here. Come on, the hitting these jumps at weird angles is what's going to do it for us from this point on, I think. Because you can see, these jumps are worn down. And I don't even know what you call this move. And we're going to get it back. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow, all right. Well, Gravedigger is having a pretty good time right now. Too bad this is not for the score. Oh my goodness, what is going on? And that'll put Gravedigger on its back again. Well, there you have it. We'll get reset for that one. And I think we'll consider that an encore. A job well done. My goodness, Gravedigger letting it all hang out after the scores were in. But a uh, nice little encore right there just for all of you guys. Because uh, that was a tough break. Get knocked on our head right before we even got a chance to get anything going. So... That'll do it for Gravedigger here as I line and bank up into our spot. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get the next truck out and ready to go. And it might just be one of Gravedigger's greatest rivals of all time. Well, we called Gravedigger the icon. I don't know what you can call this truck other than maybe one of the most destructive and winningest trucks of all time. I mean, Maximum Destruction has a pedigree in Monster Jam that's really unlike any other. Uh, just a multiple time, what does that say, 11-time champion on the roof? That's insane, uh, considering there's only been, what, 20 World Finals up to this point, and to win 11 World Championships in that time frame where sometimes they'd won two in a year. That's pretty impressive. I don't care who you are. Uh, so Maximum Destruction, of course, has cemented its legacy into the game, and we're going to go ahead and try and make it proud. I don't know how it's going to go, but let's go ahead and start it up and we're gonna go straight for the big stuff here as the clock has started and we are up in the air with the nose up and everything so let's go for it right here another combo move like doing this opening a couple of times it's a nice opening get that big air right here and let's go for something a little strange right off the bat let's go for it straight up in the air and land it get knocked around a little bit into a bit of a slap wheelie and we got we got around that we got around that nice little Set of jumps right there as so we get a couple more weird bounces. Like I said, just get on the edge right there. Oh my goodness, we almost went over. Because we caught a bit of a wheelie and then went into the corner. We get some nice big air right there. A little off kilter jump here. That's going to be kind of a perfect landing though. And do we do it? Do we do it right off the bat? We got to go for one early, don't we? We got to. And that's a big one right there to get under the, just out of the way for maximum destruction. And let's see what we can do with the main jump right here. Let's gonna hit the brakes. Got it all the way up. There we go. And just walk it down. Just walking it down, bouncing off the dirt. There you go. A nice little wheelie right there. And we're gonna pull this thing around. Hit our jump over here again. Get some massive air. And I wanna try the sort of log setup we got over here. I'm pulling this thing around as we've got a minute and 45 seconds left to go. Could this be the end of the run right here? For Max D, no, we just get some monster air and carry it over the next ramp as well. Turn this thing around here. Should we try it? It took out Gravedigger. Can it take out Maximum Destruction too? No, it's going to give us a little bit of a loop. Oh, we get a chance. We get a chance here. Can we power out of it? We do. Oh, give it a little bicycle right there at the end as well. All right, lucky break there from Max D. That was pretty crazy looking, and this might not be any better. What on earth? We just had like a standstill backflip. That was awesome. All right, let's see. We're hitting these jumps kind of over and over again, but we're hitting a minute left to go in this run right about now, literally. So we're going to try and come up with something interesting to do right here. How about that? Oh, my goodness. And we're going to land it, too. No, I went the wrong way on the pedals. No. Oh, if I would have hit the gas right there, we would have pulled out of that, but hit reverse instead, and you are going over every single time. And that is what happened right there to Max D with about 41 seconds left to go. Tragic. Absolutely tragic, but we got pieces of this truck laying all over the place, and uh, that's a pretty brutal sight right there, but that'll do it for Maximum Destruction, living up to the name right there as usual. Well, as we get to one of the most dominant trucks in recent history of Monster Jam, we've got Son of a Digger lined up next, ready to go. And, uh, man, this truck is awesome. Can he redeem Gravedigger 
after that uh, bit embarrassing run that he had earlier, well, we'll have to see for ourselves as we find out. Let's go ahead and get this run underway here. Figure out our opening route. Let's just go for the big stuff. Why not? Power down. Let's go without any wasted time. The clock has begun, and we are going to land right on the pack wheels and go up, launched forward. That one can't be too nice on the neck right there. Thank goodness for the Hans device, right? We're going to get some nice air up here. Plant it right on top of that one. And going to combo it up right over to the next jump as well. we got to keep this truck moving. That has been the secret sauce. Two victories just to keep that truck moving. And this is going to be an interesting one. Oh, keep it moving. Keep it moving, baby. Oh, what a move right there to pull that one back. And a nice jump right there over the center. Oh, and a bicycle move. Come on, right in front of Gravedigger. Let's style on him. Let's style on the old man right now. Oh, we're up and over, though. That's not very stylish. Oh, are we going to get it back? Or are we going to go over the other way? We get it back right in front of Earthshaker here, and I'm going to give him a little tap. Let him know I'll see him later. Maybe in the next show we'll see Earthshaker, but we're going to fly up over that jump. And uh, pretty much all the paint rubbing off a lot of these jumps. So, you know, this, this track has gotten some good use today. And let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's going to be a perfect backflip. Landed it beautifully and even angled out of it beautifully. How about that? Let's go for this angle jump right here. Oh, this is going to make things very interesting. How are you going to get that back? How are you going to get that back? Oh, the lucky bounce saves the day once again. And we're backing it up. We're backing it up. No, we're not. No. Up and over goes Grave. Son of a dare. Dang, that sucks. That is a bummer, and there was a lot of time left on the clock, too, and that thing was going over, but you got to try those big moves late in the show. You got to try something, so that'll do it for Son of a Digger. Went out hard on its back, almost had an awesome move going there. If I could have gotten to reverse gear a little faster, we might have had something there, but that'll do it, and we are down to the last truck, and the winner's advantage is coming into play. The last truck to win at one of these shows is coming up next. And for the last truck of the night, another one of my personal favorites, one of the classics. We've got Blue Thunder back once again. And last time we did a show here in Monster Jam Steel Titans, Blue Thunder won the fan vote, and he is declared the winner of that show. And we will give him the winner's advantage of going on last and getting to try to steal it away from the rest of the trucks right at the end of the show. Now, can he do it? That's up for all of you to decide later on. If you think whatever run was best, you go to that straw poll link down below and you make sure to vote right after this run is done. Let's go ahead and go for it. Let's bring Blue Thunder out here. Let's fuel the energy, as it says on the back there. Let's go. Clock has started and we are off. And we are on an angle as well as we get up these jumps for the first time here. Oh, man. We got a nice one there, though. Are we going to try it? Now, if we hit this one, it'll score some pretty nice points, I bet. Up and over we go. And we land it. We pulled it back. Oh, my goodness. That was so lucky. We pulled it back, I think I said there, but we got it back. Luckily. Oh, we're going over on some stupid stuff. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. How do we pull a beautiful save like that and then flip the truck over just trying to turn? I don't know how we managed to do that, but we're back in here. Let's go. Let's get some air. We got to keep it going there. We got a nice save. We got some huge air. Let's go. Oh, we got a wheelie coming out of this thing. Oh, but it's getting out of shape. Oh, we pulled it back. Beautiful stuff right there. Come on, let's get some air right here. Cross the mounds of dirt. Oh, we're doing a spin -a rooney This is not good. This is not good. And that is a bad spot to be stuck. We only made it one minute with Blue Thunder. This truck is all over the place. But a minute. Oh, man, that's tough. That is tough for Blue Thunder. The previous winner goes out on his back. But you know what? The only other truck that flipped over that early was Gravedigger. We let Gravedigger have an encore that was unscored. And with Blue Thunder going out, with two minutes left on the clock, I just, I can't stomach it. We gotta let Blue Thunder have an encore here. It's the end of the show anyway, so be sure. Now is the time to vote on that straw poll. Click the, click the link in the description. Go and vote for which truck you thought was the best here during this video. 
and that will be the winner and we will use that and give the winner an advantage although it didn't pay off very well for blue thunder we will give the winner the advantage next time around so with that let's go ahead resume the clock on blue thunder and we're off and underway let's go just for the fans this is not to be scored or taken into uh, you know consideration for your vote just go ahead and get your votes in now as blue thunder is going to finish them off here as we get some massive air off of that jump right there that was pretty wild and uh, it's a shame that that wound up the way it did because that was going good for blue thunder this truck is just off oh my goodness it is just going reckless come on get it back no and that's it that is it and we only made it another 30 seconds or so man blue thunder has pretty much have we ripped all the body off you know what maybe we should just keep going i'm gonna resume the clock again we'll let blue thunder go until all the body panels fall off and that might not take very long in fact it might come off right here not quite yet but at least we get a chance to power out of it I resumed the clock there, so you know what? We'll just let it run out again. This is a double encore for Blue Thunder. Why not? The winner's advantage, I guess, now includes a double encore, and there goes that hood, and I promise you this is Blue Thunder because you wouldn't be able to tell any other way now that all that body is gone. Within a minute left now as we bicycle and wheelie our way through, and uh, it is too bad almost that, uh, that Blue Thunder met its early demise in this one. A lot of trucks did. Um, in fact, I think Monster Mud might be one of the only ones that actually completed the time. Uh, which, I don't know what that says, that the first truck was able to do it, and then none else were. But, uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, boys, and we gotta put up with it. Oh, man, we're going back over. Come on, we got 20-something seconds left to go, 24 seconds. We gotta get this thing filled up for the fans, as you can see, are here in just an absolutely unbelievable attendance. But, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll have that sometimes. Oh, we're getting tossed around here with 10 seconds left. What else is there to do? Let's go ahead and try this jump right here because I don't know if we even hit this one yet, but there you go. And let's throw a front flip in there as the clock expires the minute we touch the ground. And hey, look, it's a clone. This is what, uh, this is what Blue Thunder is supposed to look like. And then uh, this is what we look like instead. So... All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I've been saying, be sure to go vote on the straw poll for which truck you thought did the best. That will conclude all activities for this show, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back much sooner this time for some more freestyles, and we got plenty of tracks to try out. And I think we'll try and kind of work our way through down to the uh, Las Vegas World Finals track. I think that'd be a pretty cool one uh, to work our way towards, so... With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!